sounds good, Chris. Armando, would you, do you, would you want to be on the end so you can extend, or do you want to be here because it's close? You got it. We're joined now by student athletes from North Carolina, Caleb Love, RJ Davis, Puff Johnson, and Armando Baycott. We'll take questions for them, and then we'll join Coach Davis in action when he gets here. Let's start with Aaron in the second row. Yeah. Aaron Beard with the AP. This is for Armando. What were the last 24 hours like as you were trying to make sure you were ready to play with treatments and whatever, and how, how did you feel coming into tonight? Yeah, I mean, the last 24 hours probably – 15 of them, it was me just trying to, you know, get my ankle better. And Doug Halverson and Jonas Serration, they did a great job of just preparing me for this moment. I mean, right before the game, I really couldn't even jump. And then that's why I kind of went back. And we just kept trying to take a crack at it, and they didn't give up. And luckily, I mean, I was able to play 38 minutes. Up front on the right side, Pete. Uh, this is for our Armando, Puff, and Caleb. Uh, each of you had something happen to you during the game. Armando, you slipped late. Puff, you fell down, appeared to vomit. And, and Caleb, you looked like you tripped. I'm wondering if you could just walk me through those, those three things that kind of seemed to alter the game. Let's ask for Caleb first, then Puff, then Armando. Yeah, I was, I was running down, and, and I kind of twisted my ankle, rolled my ankle twice, and that's what happened. Puff. Um, during the game, I got hit in the stomach and just just didn't go well once I got hit in the stomach, and yeah, that's about it. Armando? I was just trying to drive to the basket, and I just kind of unconsciously tried to go up off my right foot, and then and I was an ankle eye engine, and then I just rolled it again. Next question is in the third row center. Andrew Jones, Tar Heel Illustrator for RJ and Caleb. They hit you guys with that 31 to 10 run to start the second half. What were they doing that you guys were unable to kind of avoid to, to maybe stop the run from continuing? Caleb first, then RJ, please. They were getting a lot of transition buckets. Uh, they were getting getting a lot of points in our paint. Uh, it was it, they was just you know penetrating and and doing whatever they wanted to do. RJ. Um, <clears throat> they got a lot of transition buckets, uh, points in the paint. Um, and that's really about it. Let's go to the fifth row on the left side, CL. CL Brown, Raleigh News and Observer. Uh, this is for you, Caleb. Uh, can you take me through that last play with the 4.3 seconds left when you guys had one more chance to tie? Was was there a particular play called, or was it, you know, you whoever got the ball was to try and make a play? Yeah, Coach Davis and Coach Frederick drew up a play for either Brady or me to get the ball, and then who, if that wasn't open, then it was whoever got the whoever got open. Um, and so it was a kind of screen to get me open, and it was supposed to be a screen for me to get a flare. Uh, I got the ball, and I took the shot, and we came up short. We're going to the center of the room, toward the right side. Raise your hand, please. Isaac Shade, All Tar Heels. There was a stretch in the second half where, uh, Caleb, where you started, excuse me, taking over, bringing the ball up the court. Was that an intentional switch due to your ankle injury? No, nah, it was just to relieve pressure because um, they were pressuring the ball full court. It was denying RJ, so uh, you know I had I had to get the, we had to get the ball in. We're on the right side, five rows back. Ross Martin, Inside Carolina. Uh, Armando, can you speak to the physicality of the game, banging down there with David McCormick and um, just how tough it was throughout the game? Yeah, I mean, all throughout the game, David, I mean, Coach Selfie did a good job of just trying to go at me, put me in different ball screens, and he was ducking in a lot, and it was definitely tough just because he's a bigger guy, and I really couldn't the whole game get the push on anything on my post-ups defensively anything. It was just like I kind of was out there and it was just hard for me to really just stand my ground. Yeah. Up front on the right side. Brendan Marks from The Athletic. Hubert, um, as soon as the game ended, you went straight over to Brady and sort of hugged him and consoled him. Just wondering what was why it was important for you to do that and um, important to tell the rest of the guys in the locker room thereafter. 
it was important for me to do that because I love the players and I care for them and they were very emotional and crying and that's my job is to support them and to care for them and to love them and to be there for them and so it was nothing more than just caring for them. Left side second row. Lauren Walls from WXII in Winston-Salem. This question's for Armando. Just what was the level of difficulty it took for you to play on that ankle all game? I mean, I don't think it was any difficulty. I mean, we all really wanted to win. We came this far, and this was a huge goal for us was to just hang up a banner. And, you know, we just really wanted to win, and I really wouldn't let anything stop us from, you know, getting to that point. And, it didn't go the way we wanted, but I mean, I was fine. In the center of the room, let's get this gentleman a microphone. Raise your hand, please, so we can see you. Uh, Adam Smith, Burlington Times News. Caleb, you guys have come up with wins in so many tight games in the last month, two months. What was it like for it not to work out tonight, you know, on the biggest stage? And, and can you tell us maybe some about what the locker room was like afterwards, what you guys were dealing with and what y'all were feeling? And just, you know, it, it hurts um, for us to get this far and come up short like this, um, everything we went through. Um, but, you know, the positive thing is I wouldn't want to go through this with anybody else. Um, we have two questions, one row back. Hi, uh, PJ Morales, The Daily Tar Heel. This is for Coach Davis, uh, Armando, and Puff. Uh, Coach Davis, you talked a lot about the experiences that you wanted your players to have and how important an experience it was getting this far in the season and having, you know, having this kind of show of excellence. Now kind of on the other side of it a little bit, what, what, what do you think has been the most important thing in terms of experiencing what you experienced this weekend and throughout the tournament? Coach Davis. Well, I did. You know, I, I, I said that, you know, and I told them this after the game that, my desperation for them to have those experiences in a Carolina uniform was very important for me. And I was very thankful that I feel like this year they were able to have a, not just, they were able to have a number of experiences um, that they could grab on and to lean on and to smile about. Um, the thing that I shared with them in the locker room is along the way as they were experiencing it, they were giving me more stories and testimonies and memories by just having a front row seat to be around them. And so um, I, I said before that, you know, I can't remember a time in my life where I should be disappointed, but I'm just filled with so much pride. I'm so proud of these guys, of what they have done for themselves individually as a team, the way that they have represented our university, this program, our community. I can't ask for them to do any more than what they have done, and I am, I am extremely proud of each one of them. In the center of the room, same area? Yeah, Hunter Nelson from the Daily Tar Heel. So in the second half, a lot of you guys are missing shots that you had been hitting really all tournament. And after playing in, I guess, four all-time classic games, so to speak, how much did fatigue play into that? And what were your adjustments that you had to make? Caleb, can you take that one first? I mean, you know, it was national championship. Um, I don't think anybody was thinking about being tired. Uh, we were just trying to go out there and do whatever we had to do to get the win. And it was just unfortunate that we came up short. RJ. Uh, we were just trying to remain positive when, you know, things weren't going that way. Uh, shots weren't, uh, we, the shots that we usually make uh, were missing, coming up short. And, you know, we just told it, everyone just told each other just to stay together. And there was a lot of time left, but. Um, Arnick. Sorry, RJ. Our next question is all the way in the back of the room on the left. David. Armando, David Teal from the Richmond Times Dispatch. With about 38 seconds to go, you're, you're hopping down the court on your only good leg. How much pain are you in at that point? Do you know you cannot go anymore? And just what's going through your mind? Yeah, I mean, I thought I made a good movement. I mean, I thought I really got the angle that I wanted. I mean, I thought it would have been an easy basket. And then I just rolled my ankle as I was going up. And then I think we were down like two points. And it was a four on five. And I was just trying to get back and do whatever I could. Just even I was just contested shot or do whatever. But 
I mean, I really struggled. I couldn't really put any weight down on my right leg. And I don't know. I mean, right then and there, I probably knew I was done at that point. Toward the back of the room on the right side, sir, could you raise your hand so we can see you? Yeah. Thank you. David Thompson, USA Today Network. The, this question's for Coach Davis. You talked about pride. Um, you know, what are the emotions also that you feel when you watch the performance of Romando and the way just kind of he gutted it out all game? Well, it's not just tonight, the, the type of season that Armando has had. I, I've had the privilege of seeing all of his hard work that he did in the off season that put himself in a position to be successful this year. I've seen the commitment that he has had and the desperation for him to make this team successful you know the first couple years and, and I told Armando this that I just felt bad for him you know because he's such a great kid an unbelievable player in the first two years I just didn't think he had that Carolina experience and not going to the NCAA tournament his freshman year we had a losing record then we lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament last year and his decision to come to North Carolina was to be a part of um, the great history of this program. And I, I really wanted that for him. And it's not just his effort tonight. The effort tonight that he displayed, he's done it all year consistently. And that's why he's one of the better players in the country. Toward the back on the right side, Pat. Yeah, uh, Hubert, Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated. I was just wondering uh, if you could tell me what Mannix uh, uh, assignment was on that last play if he was going to the opposite side for a three over there and yep. then just how you, you'll feel with the number of guys that went down and how they tried to battle through various maladies and problems today. Yeah, the the play was for him to get get a uh, baseline screen and we're supposed to throw it to him. Um, it looked like he was going to be open, throw it to the opposite corner, but he stumbled. And so it threw the play totally off. I think he would have been open the first option was for him to shoot the three. And then we had Caleb coming off of another screen on the backside um, that was going to be set by Justin McCoy. But because Brady tripped, it just, just messed up the play. And um, Caleb shot a great shot. It just didn't go in tonight. Next question is for Aaron in the second row, right side. Yeah, Aaron Beard with the AP. This is for Puff. Kind of walk us through a little bit your mentality tonight when they needed you, when Leakey got in foul trouble, and you hit some big shots, you drew a charge, you really came through with some valuable minutes for them. Uh, my whole thing this uh, whole year has been just to stay ready whenever your number is called. And, I mean, I can honestly just say that uh, I gave it everything I had, and that's what I try to do each and every game and each and every day in life. And I came into the Final Four with a little bit of a banged up hip flexor from what happened earlier in the season. It was just re-aggravated a little bit. And I can honestly just say I just gave it everything I had. Next question's for CL, midway back on the left side. CL Brown, this is question is for uh, Coach Davis and uh, for any of the players who want to answer. Coach, this being your first year, at the helm, um, what would you say you kind of learned about yourself going through this season as a coach? And similar question for any of the players, what, what did you learn from this experience in terms of what it takes to get to a Final Four to win a national championship, compete for one? Well, I've, you know, I said before, you know, there's a, there's a number of things going through my mind right now. And even though that the whole season has been, you know, filled with with so many blessings, it's it's been so busy. I haven't I haven't had time to really process and think fully what has happened. CL, I will say this: I I like not I like I love what I'm doing. I just um, I love being the head coach at the University of North Carolina and coaching these kids. And RJ, can you take that one as well? And Armando. Uh, it takes a whole band. You know, we've been together this whole year. Um, and we made this far for a reason. Um, you know, this team was special. I'm, you know, glad to share memories and uh, big games, you know, that we'll all talk about and cherish forever. I mean, we've, you know, been through a lot this year. 
faced adversity, overcome it, um, and all of our hard work that we put in through the off season, the summertime, you know, preseason, uh, you know, brought us to this, you know, point where we at. Armando. Yeah, I mean, I would just say this season has been successful. I mean, just having Coach Davis as a coach, he's been amazing all year, and I mean, everybody in our coaching staff has been great, and just this program, we've all loved being here all year and just playing for Coach Davis, and this won't be the last time y'all see this program here. We'd like to thank Caleb, RJ, Puff, Armando, and Coach Davis. Congratulations on a great season and outstanding postseason. And we thank you for your time in here all week. Okay, thank you. Can somebody help Armando get down? Okay. Somebody help Armando get down. Thank you very much.